guys it's oogs welcome to the channel and thank you for watching please help your brother out subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share one click away my friend and you all set thank you so much for helping the channel today we're gonna discuss about chelsea dream team i made a few videos about it i told you that we are walking behind the scenes and it might not look good in certain people's eyes but when everything comes together my friend you're gonna be happy you don't have to ha to be happy right now but when uh, all this start bearing fruit oh my goodness we're gonna have a lot of fruit to eat right so don't worry about it you might not heard about any anybody here you might not um, like anybody that is normal and you don't have to like anybody because we are not used to signing people in the office we are used to marina piracek abramovich give money boom boom 100 million we got the player today but now why are we hiring so many people in the office and nothing else where is leao where is mbappe where is uh, uh <laughs> messi and ronaldo that's what people are waiting but it's uh, very important you know the office people as uh, the office people are as important as the players so today chelsea just confirmed another director his name is paul Wins stanley so win stanley is from brighton and we are buying the entire brighton team <laughs> and you ask yourself why brighton had chelsea <laughs> that's why they completely destroyed us in the premier league because they are not happy about what we are doing to their team we bought uh grand pora 20 million yeah we bought him he's a coach yeah we had to pay the release close 20 million plus his staff which is like six people all together and then we brought some recruitment guys and then we are taking this guy here paul so don't be surprised if we announce more people from brighton <laughs> You understand why Brighton don't like Chelsea at the moment. So Chelsea is pleased to announce that Paul Win Stanley has been appointed to the role of director of global talent and transfer. Global, not only in England or everywhere uh, or, or anything. It's going to be global. Brazil, Africa, Asia, everywhere. This guy is going to be checking on talent and dealing with transfer. He's not alone because there are other directors that we're going to discuss in the next coming videos. And even Brighton, as you can tell here, they confirmed the situation here by saying Paul Winstanley has left the club to take up a new role at Chelsea after the two clubs agreed a compensation package. So we bought him. Is not coming on free. We bought him. We are paying a lot of money to Brighton at the moment. Kukurea, 60 million plus add ons. Uh, Graham Pora, 20 million. And this guy, I don't know how much we, we're going to pay. And also, we're going to also go for Kaiseido and probably other players. I don't know. So, we're going to make them rich. And. Uh, let's wait and see what's gonna happen all right people so also we have some other news in the chelsea community here right that we're gonna have to read together rafael leao according to green bailey he said that uh, chelsea are confident they will be able to lure rafael leao away from ac milan with the portugal forward yet to agree a contract extension at San, San Siro. That is the name of the stadium, right? So don't worry, bro. We are walking behind closed doors. We've been losing games because of injuries, new manager, new tactics and system and all that. People are not happy at the moment and it's, it's difficult to tell people to wait because we don't wait. But 
hey, you have to wait until January, something might happen. So, Liao, keep your eye open because we are going for big guns, but also for the youngsters who can develop plus expensive players on the market. And we should be fine. Okay, so uh, just reading some of the comments or some of uh, the posts here. Graham Porter isn't... He's not trying to turn Chelsea into Brighton. It's completely natural for managers to look at players that they've worked with uh, before for obvious reason. When considering target, just because players are being considered, it doesn't mean they will be signed. This is a very good point here. Just because we've been linked with everybody from Brighton doesn't mean that we are going to buy everybody there. We've been linked with Trossard, Caicedo, uh, Webster, and now it's Sanchez, the goalkeeper. So, it's normal, bro. You walk with somebody that uh, that you know better, and we saw it everywhere. Ancelotti, Moreno, whatever, Pep Guardiola, they like to walk with the players that they trust already. So, there is nothing new here to criticize our manager, Graham Porter. So, some other news in the community very quickly here. Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea is no longer a, a, a viable op, uh, option for January. It doesn't make sense at the moment that we are trying to build for the future and all of a sudden you're going to go for somebody like Ronaldo that you know is going to be a problem in the dressing room. Chelsea are searching for a new goalkeeper my friend i don't really get it i don't understand why because we just bought like slonina remember gaga from chicago fire the guy got a little bit of kepa a little bit of piracek a little bit of mandy he's the combination of those players so i don't see why we should go for another goalkeeper mandy is good uh you know got weaknesses of course and also, um, Kepa is good, but also a lot of weaknesses. So why can't we just develop that young man, Gaga Slonina? So, uh, yeah, Jorginho is still, you know, Barcelona one team and all that. For me, Jorginho need to go. Jorginho let him go on free to Barcelona. I don't care because I need a different kind of profile in that midfield. I've already made videos about Jorginho. I'm sick and tired of repeating the same thing over and over again. What else is going on in the Chelsea community? The announcement of this guy here, Nkunku, who is 25 already. Yesterday was his birthday. Can you believe it? He's on his prime at the moment. If we get him, very good. But we don't know when it's going to be confirmed. Before the World Cup or after the World Cup, we don't know. But something is happening behind closed doors, according to Fabrizio Romano. So, this is just to confirm what I just said about Sanchez from Brighton. Would you like to spend money on Sanchez or would you like to give a chance to, to Slonina Gaga? that we bought from Chicago Fire. Because this Sanchez was sitting on the bench when uh, when Graham Porter took over. He developed him to the goalkeeper that he is today. I'm sure that Graham Porter can develop also Gaga and we should be fine instead of spending a lot of money because I, I'm not sure that he's going to cost less than 40 million because they know they can get money from Chelsea. Chelsea uh in need of somebody i think no uh, uh, for me no he's a great goalkeeper but we should we should just develop our own let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about um about the goalkeeping situation because mendy also is waiting for his options because if he's gonna sit on the bench and then what the point he's a senegalese number one goalkeeper so he doesn't want to be on the bench so he doesn't want to sign a contract he want to have the same kind of money as uh, Kepa Arisa Balaga but the you know 
the performance on the pitch is not the same. So if he decides to go, thank you for the memories. Thank you for, you know, you know the Champions League and all the good memory, but probably it's going to be time to go. Grand Porter reportedly doesn't like the idea of signing Cristiano Ronaldo at Chelsea as he is trying to build a dynamic and progressive team. Yeah, that makes sense. Why would you bring somebody like Ronaldo at Chelsea when you're trying to build a team? You know, so Todd Bowley really don't impose this guy another problem in the dressing room. We saw that uh, Ronaldo is causing a lot of chaos at the moment. Probably is not the right thing to do. Let uh, Grand Pora build his own team with the players that he can control and he can coach. So we might bring a lot of money with Cristiano Ronaldo, but we bring also a lot of problems. So probably we have to focus on the future. This young man here, uh, Hendrik from Brazil, he's the future of football. Let's put our all our eggs on Hendrik instead of Cristiano Ronaldo, if that makes sense. This is a risk that worth it because you're not going to lose money if he doesn't he doesn't perform good you can sell him for profit Hendrik to Chelsea Football Club <laughs>